Hello there guys, Coaster Chal here, Donksterborn, Bob Bill for Theme Parks and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today we're going to be discussing the possibility that this is the final season of Nickelodeon Land at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Before we get started with all of what's going to be discussed in this video guys, make sure you like the video. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. Subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Also, guys, check the description down below where you can find the Google Forms link to put your video ideas and content suggestions. We're going to record all of them in the summer. And also down below is the links for Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, and Discord as well. And for now, guys, let's get straight into this one. So, Nickelodeon Land, of course, there's loads of rumours and speculation, uh, especially with the popping up of Bradley Beaver a few times recently online. Um, you know, I think Amanda Thompson put something about Bradley Beaver on Twitter. And, you know, there's always there's been this kind of you know, speculation now, that, and there's been loads of different evidence to suggest that this is the final season of Nickelodeon Land. Now, I know you're going to be asking a couple of questions. The first question is, um, that, you're, that you guys are probably commenting down below is, when is Nickelodeon Land going to start closing? You know, when, when's all the rides going to start closing? Well, I'll t <laughs> very bad. I'll tell you um, all what's what could be happening. What, what what I think could be happening. So if this is true, and this is this year is the last season for Nickelodeon Land, um, or as I like to pronounce it in that terrible Scouse accent, Nickelodeon Land. Um, yeah, if this is the last season of Nickelodeon Land, I'm going to go through the history of that land, what it was before, and a couple of suggestions as to what I think could replace it in the next you know, season. Um, and I'm also going to share the probabilities of this actually happening. Of this actually being the last season of operation for Nickelodeon Land at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So, let's go through the history behind the land, first of all. So, of course, it wasn't always known as Nickelodeon Land. Of course, it clo closed on the 5th of September 2010 for that transformation into Nickelodeon Land. But before then, it was known as Beaver Creek. Now, if you've watched the classic Blackpool documentary, you'll know all about uh, Beaver Creek. Of course, the classic land led by Bradley Beaver and Baby Bubbles, uh, the park's mascots. The, basically, the park's answer to Mickey and Minnie Mouse, as the documentary says. Now, of course, this area has some classic kids' attractions. The helicopters, the veteran carousel, which is now the vintage carousel, then known as the Thompson's carousel as well. They had the lunar carousel, they had a dark ride, uh, travelling through various fantasy and global scenes called Magic Mountain. That opened back in 1934 and closed in 2010 and was demolished in 2010. Uh, they had the Magnus Mini Dodgems, a pint-sized children's bumper cars. Uh, they had the Pirate Ride, which is a Sea Storm style ride, and of course that's now in Nickelodeon land. Uh, that's now officially, uh, that was officially turned into Backyard against Pirate Treasure. Um, that got the Backyard against treatment. Um, there was also the Tetley Teacup ride that was relocated down underneath the staircase, I believe, near Avalanche. Uh, there was the Beaver Creek Log Flume, of course, that's the Rugrats Lost River ride. Um, or just Rugrats Lost River, if you want a shorter name. <laughs> um, of course, Thor's Turnpike, uh, that was relocated inside Avalanche's footprint, known as the Alpine Rally. Uh, that opened back in the 1990s. And of course, you had the main attractions, you had the two main coasters. Uh, the Zipper Dipper and the Roller Coaster. Of course, Zipper, Zipper Dipper opened back in 1934. That's now Blue Flyer. And of course, the Roller Coaster was transformed into Nickelodeon Streak uh, for the 2011 season when that opened back in 1933 originally. And of course, the addition of extra attractions, Bikini Bottom Bus Tour, Diego Rains Forest Rescue, the classic Samba Balloon attraction, the Fairy World Taxi Spin, uh, the Krusty Krab Order Up, previously the, the Shoots Ride, uh, SpongeBob Splash Bash, Wonder Pets Big Circus Bounce, um, Avatar Airbender, the Zampella Disco Coaster, and also Dora's World Voyage, which was the uh, um, the sort of outside uh, sm uh, slow boat ride uh, through various worldwide scenes. That was actually where Magic Mountain was. So where you, when you're riding Dora's World Voyage, you are actually where the old Magic Mountain Dark Ride was. Of course, Nickelodeon Land uh, coming into the park. It opened on back on the fourth of May 2011 it was a um, obviously a potential um, I think the, the contract was 10 years uh, and of course due to the intellectual property rights set to expire and I believe Nickelodeon might feature exclusively at the London Resort theme park project that's set to open 
uh, on the Swanscombe Peninsula in Kent in 2024. So with the, the IP rights set to expire this year on Nickelodeon Land at Pleasure Beach, and the fact that Nickelodeon could exclusively be coming to the London Resort when that opens in a few years' time, the future is unclear. And of course, the Imagine director Amanda Thompson had hinted this month at the possible return of the Beaver Creek theme to that section of the theme park. So it's definitely an unclear future. However, I think it could be a very exciting future. So let me share my predictions as to what I think is going to happen. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. It's a sad, it could be a very sad end for Nickelodeon Land after 10 years of operation. But I'll tell you something now, the future is very, very exciting for that area because they could bring back Beaver Creek in a whole new way. And you've got to think, and this leads me into one of my predictions being that Beaver Creek will come back. And the reason why that's one of my predictions out of the two is because you've got to look, this year is the 125th anniversary of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And... They love the golden oldies. They love the classics, the vintage of the theme park. So one route they could go down to help celebrate the 125th anniversary is bring back a classic from its past decades. And that includes Beaver Creek. That includes Bradley Beaver. And you knew, COVID or not, he would be there. Bradley Beaver would be there for the 125th anniversary no matter what. But it is quite a... Co a a coincidence that Nickelodeon Streak's IP is set to expire this coming this year, this coming year, 2021 season, this is the last season of Nickelodeon Land and this is one of the reasons why once COVID levels are down and lockdown is over and I get some money in the bank, I'm going straight to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, I'm going straight there for the 125th anniversary, vlog it for you guys and try and get my last rides on Nickelodeon Land rides as soon as possible because they'll be rethemed but the Nickelodeon brand will be gone in my opinion in the next year so I need to get my rides on them again as soon as possible for the last time and the other route my other prediction would be a different IP whether that's an exclusive part of the Nickelodeon brand to keep the Nickelodeon alive or whether that would be a brand new IP from scratch whether that be something BBC whether that be something from a TV show or a film or a cartoon or something and you know what, there's a few different IPs that could work for, and I think there's a few IPs that some people won't like, some people will like. You're never going to you're never gonna have the support from 100% of the population. You're always going to have some critics before they try it out, and even after they try it out, you're going to have critics. So, there's a few IPs that people can throw out in the comments down below. I'm thinking ones off the top of my head like Doctor Who, uh, Ben 10, Pokemon... You know, loads of different IPs, worldwide Renown IPs, Power Rangers, they could imply that and try and work with the brand that owns the Power Rangers IP uh, and do like a whole themed area themed on that TV network or that kind of TV company that produces shows like Power Rangers. Um, it will be a family brand, don't get me wrong, if it is a new IP next year, it will be another family brand, so you're looking at the lines of, again, Power Rangers, Pokemon, Ben 10. Uh, Spongebob, that would be a good individual brand to keep the Nickelodeon uh, spirit alive. And, um, you know, it's going to be very interesting, but my heart, my heart is telling me it's going to go more along the lines of they're going to revert it back to Beaver Creek uh, at the start of the 2022 season. And you've got to think, 2022 is already going to be a big year for Pleasure Beach because they're going to be unveiling the revamped, refurbished Valhalla. And you bet your lucky backside, I'll be down for that one as well next year. And... With Valhalla being refurbished and potentially Beaver Creek coming back in the same opening year, 2022, that's a very exciting year for Blackpool Pleasure Beach. A Beaver Creek return and Valhalla refurbished, both opening. And you've got to think, 2012, they refurbished two attractions. You know, Valhalla and Revolution. 2022, this is 10 years afterwards, refurbished two attractions, Valhalla and Nickelodeon Land into Beaver Creek. That it, it is, you're seeing a pattern now. You're starting to see a bit of a pattern growing. So uh, it should be very exciting. I can't wait for it. But thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Blackpool tastic day. I'm praying for Beaver Creek. Come on, Bradley. Convince your woodland critter friends to come back to the Pleasure Beach. I dare you. Please.